Hi everybody, welcome to another one of my Beatles Finds videos. And before I start, I just want to ask you, are you interested in movies and or television? I have another channel. The channel is called Mayo's Movie Marquee. That's three words. And if you're interested, please subscribe. Okay, maybe I'll see you there. Well, let's get on with these finds. And uh, wow, I found something recently. A few weeks ago. These are all things I've gotten in the last few weeks. Weeks ago, uh, I never heard of this before, and I looked it up. This is something very unusual, and I hear that it's from, uh, I don't know, but it's Dutch. Let's put it that way. This is this is Dutch, and it's a, called the Beatles Hand Operated Record, and it came in an envelope like this. Very unusual item. Nothing on the back. I looked up the information, and you can too. As you can see, it's Dutch. You can read that. And there's a little record in there, which is actually one of the Beatles' Christmas messages. Um, I forget which one it is. I think it's the first one, the first message. Uh, and supposedly, there is a way of playing this with your finger. Now, I don't want to open this too much. There are instructions there, and if you can see, there's a... A needle on the top there see that needle and there's a way to kind of spin it and play it the Christmas message I don't know anybody that actually does that but uh, as a collector's piece I think this thing is pretty interesting I've never heard of it before so I'd have it very nice all right now that's not the only thing recently that I found uh, this thing here this item I would consider a grail, and a grail is not something I use very often. It's a 45. These have been bootlegged many times, and I'm pretty sure this is a, an original, simply because it's not in great shape, and that's why I was able to afford it, uh, because these things cost several hundred dollars so if they're really nice shape, you know. This is the Atco single from the early 60s of, uh, I think, 1964, uh, the Beatles' Ain't She Sweet backed with nobody's child um you know i could tell that it looks very uh, aged it's not uh one of the bootlegs of bright white uh shiny later you know cover look at that i have to hold this up because i like to get a thumbnail picture out of this so let's see All right yeah so uh now here's the thing i was also able to afford this because on the back some fan did this drew some mustaches there on a couple of the Beatles. So, uh, yeah, uh, that brought the value down and ma made me able to afford it because I wouldn't have been able to afford it otherwise. I wound up paying just a two-digit figure, not very high, for this. And uh, very good price, I think, under the circumstances. Uh, if one falls into my lap one day in better condition, fine. Uh, this is the record. Ain't She Sweet, John Lennon on lead vocal which is probably, is it the first the Beatle vocal on record? Maybe. And Nobody's Child on the second, second side. Uh, the record is in so-so shape. I've, I've seen better. Uh, the label's nice. The record needs a, a little work, a little cleaning. But I think I can uh, probably always find a record that's better. You're buying this first and foremost for the sleeve. So I'm very happy with this. All right. Next item up, as soon as I return this to its case, is this is an unofficial record. And uh, it's an interview with Paul McCartney. It says, Paul McCartney talks about his dear friend, John Lennon. As you can see there. And it says, this is an exclusive interview I mean, this might actually be a legitimate record. I don't know. It says, this is an exclusive interview with Paul McCartney. Paul talks extensively about the relation with John, his relation with John, the songwriting and rivalry, their contacts after the Beatles, his reaction on John's sudden death, Yoko, and many more things. This interview is essential for all fans. It comes with the warmth, freshness, and humor of Paul. It says, special convention release, limited to a release of 500. Uh, made and printed in Great Britain. And uh, for what it's worth, there it is. It's 
says 45 extended play record. And here's the record. Okie doke. All right. Next item up is a picture disc. I don't really collect too many picture discs. You can't get them all. There's so much stuff. I pass a lot of them up. And uh, this one, I don't know. The price was right, so I got it. Has Beetle interviews on there earlier, 1967. The other side is the same. This was cool. Bought this several weeks ago. Listened to it at my record store, and it was spinning around, which is cool. My turntable, whenever I do play records, the turntable's up here high. It's on a big cabinet, so you can't look down and see the record spinning, you know? One day I'm going to have a setup where I'll have the record turntable, play, you know, the, the player, the record, the turntable, the phonograph, the controller, whatever you want to call it, the turntable, down where I could look at it. Next up, we have this uh, weird album, uh, The Paragons Sing the Beatles and Bob Dylan. So you've got Bob Dylan and Beatles songs here sung by The Paragons. And I don't know what kind of release this is, actually, if it's legit or what it is. Um, there are songs on here. Beatles songs are I'll Be Back, Don't Let Me Down, You Won't See Me. If I Fell and Come Together, those are the Beatles songs that are covered here. All right. This is the last item up. I thought this was a very cool-looking item. Unfortunately, it was damaged. What a shame. Somebody put their coffee cup right there in the center. So there's a nice ring for you. You know, meet the beat. Tony Sheridan and the Beat Brothers. Uh, the Beatles, it says here. And there are a whole series of songs here. The photos on the back, you see. This is from Germany, this album. Uh, but the cover's nice, you know. If I find a better one for cheap, I'll get it. Can't stand that stain, but what are you going to do? Um, let's see what's on here. Jailhouse Rock, Let's Dance, Ruby Baby. Sweet Georgia Brown, Hey, Baba Rebop. Do Re Mi, Shake It Some More, My Bonnie. Side 2, Shake, Rattle, and Roll, Just You and Me, The Creep. Fever, Skinny Mini, What Did I Say? And some of these are live recordings. Uh, some are not, and some are live. And it's on Polydor, the red label. Matches my shirt. <laughs> okay, there you have it, folks. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And as I say, consider, if you like, subscribing to Mayo's Movie Marquee. And, uh, you know, I do some movies there, and uh, not, sometimes television shows. All right, talk to you soon.